Very quickly, give us the, the lowdown of New York City real estate market right now, commercially. Well, generally in the commercial market, especially in investment sales, that's really a tale of two markets. The market for property is over $100 million, is essentially frozen because of a lack of financing. Uh, finan the CMBS market was the thing that really allowed that market, right, allowed that market to, uh, to flow. Uh, we are seeing great activity uh, in the under $100 million property sales market, mainly because portfolio lenders are providing debt what, what does that, that mean, market. portfolio lenders? Portfolio lenders are generally lenders that are making loans and keeping those loans on their balance sheet. Uh, they're not selling them off into the secondary market and converted into securities. So we're seeing, particularly in the multifamily uh, property type, uh, we're seeing a lot of uh, interest and a lot of sales, and something that's very different in this market as opposed to uh, the market that we had in the early 90s was that we have tremendous capital sitting on the sidelines waiting to come in and buy real estate. Uh, we didn't have that in the early 90s, and although property volume of sales is down in terms of the number of transactions, uh, we are seeing uh, a lot of interest and a lot of demand, and uh, fortunately, the, the, the level of sales is, uh, is reasonable relative to the other market. I want to buy a big apartment building off Dagan, right? She wants to sell for 500 right. million bucks. Right. How much cash would I need to do that deal? Well, the $500 million transaction wouldn't get done today because okay, there's no I, financing. $50 million. Dollar, Dagan has been downgraded. She's got a $50 million <laughs> building. $50 million dollar building. Uh, 600 people living in there. Probably the financing on that transaction would be about $30 million. So there'd be $20 million of equity required. Uh, we're we're Thank doing God, it. God, you almost need half? We're doing a transaction now that's a $45 million dollar transaction that the buyer is putting 50 percent equity into because the property will only support a 50 percent loan. You mean real equity like cash or like cash. equity on other buildings? Or? No, absolutely cash. And what we're, we've seen a shift from uh, investors who had institutional capital behind them back to the old line families and investors that have been very active in New York for decades that are investing 100 percent of their own equity in these transactions. Today, particularly in New York City, I think the only type of construction project that has a chance of getting finance would be a residential rental building. Uh, but condominium cons construction financing is non-existent, nor is, is financing Why would available. anybody make a loan on a residential building in New York City when we're facing well, people tens, if not hundred thousands of jobs? I know, but you have all this new supply that's coming on the market here. I wonder about the wisdom of that. Well, I think that there will always be demand for rental units in New York City. Uh, the vacancy rate is still relatively low, particularly compared to national averages. Uh, and the fact is that if we have three million housing units in New York, uh, everyone thought that we were overbuilding the market with 30,000 new condominiums, but that's a relatively minor percentage of the market that's being added to the supply. So there's still this tremendous demand for apartments in the city.